Hi guys, Catherine Ayer here. Our friends at Reality Ninja just came out with an amazing newsletter and I thought I would go over it with you. So it goes on out to live stream your next open house and the new Reality Ninja features that make it easy. And we teach a webinar, Heather, Wikibit Simple, Social Media, and I, um, exactly on how to conduct real estate business virtually. And what I want to dive into in this video is the new features that come up with your website. And Realty Ninja website are amazing. We have a 10% discount code if you need one. And I'm going to show you the new thing they come up with, which I think is a game changer. So one thing um, that they specify is that a live stream open house is an event. It's not a pre-recorded video. And we add this question asked by our students, which are saying, I have a virtual open house on my website. Why do I need to do a Facebook and Instagram live? And the answer to this is that a live recording is an event. You are with people. They join you on the live broadcast and they can ask you questions. So if you're spending, say, a couple of hours at a property, people can come in and out of your uh, live event, they can ask you questions, they can ask you to you maybe go down in the garage or have a look in the backyard and you have an open conversation with people. So this is the main point that they put and then um, and then so you physically walk through the client's home so that's what they're guiding you through and then what you want to have and this is where it gets tricky you want to, to have a predefined uh, set and time so it's the same as a normal open house you would say i'm there saturday at this property from 10 to 12. but then you need to tell people where can they join this open house? And that's where it gets a bit tricky. And you need a URL for that. A URL is www. And then a website address that people can click to find you. So I'm going to get to this um, way, but something they go away, uh, they go on in their newsletter in their blog post, which is super interesting, is the benefits. And you can live stream from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and we teach you that in class. But not only can hundreds of people join you without being physically present, they can change, chart, um, visit your live open house, but this is amazing for international buyers. So think about all the people that cannot travel but are interested in properties in Whistler and Squamish and Pemberton and Vancouver. So live open houses are amazing. And then of course it makes you look smart, modern, progressive. And also it you have a duty as an agent to be marketing your properties these days. So this is a great way to show the sellers that you are still active and really doing um, a great job. Now, this is where I wanna dive into and this is where Realty Ninja really brings it uh, up their game is that now on the listing on your website on your Realty Ninja website you will see a sign that says live stream which means that people will see that there is a live stream open house happening at that listing so here you go it shows you here on the screen so live stream live stream at and then join us on uh, Facebook live or wherever you're going to be so this is going to be showing on your website how cool is that and then people can uh, decide to add the date to their calendar now what happens here so this is more examples during the leave uh, stream button and now some steps to go live talk to your seller you want to make sure that you have uh, a, a place and time to go that the house most likely is going to be vacant you want to make sure that you use all the safety um this safety tools you can have so uh, maybe gloves and a mask or at least um, have some cleaning spray to make sure that we are staying kind of COVID safe and choose which platform you want to go on. So are you going to go live on Facebook or on Instagram? And this, we teach that in class as well. So I think it's super uh, interesting is this part. Load up your MLS software like Paragon and find the section to add a new live stream open house. Now you're going to say, 
what the heck is that? So I've asked the ninjas to actually do a video specifically on that. But ultimately what it means is that you go on your MLS, like say on Paragon, and then you will see a section that says, I add a new live stream open house. And this is where you want to put a link in. And this is not, so they put a little thing. I know it's a, uh, we teach with the um, Toronto Regional Real Estate Board, the Greater Vancouver, uh, Edmonton, Victoria, they have it. And I think a lot of other uh, boards are gonna follow through, but load up MLS Paragon and find the section. And it, it's, it's like a little box where you add that link. So what link do you add? And this is where they have a good example. You go to either your Facebook business page or your Instagram account on desktop and look at the top of the page where it's gonna say facebook.com forward slash say Catherine Aird or Realty Ninja or Mary Smith Real Estate. This is your Facebook URL. On Instagram, you need to have an Instagram uh, you want to have an Instagram business account and you go at Instagram.com forward slash and Realty Ninja or, you know, Catherine Aird and so on. Now, the other recommendation that I found was uh, fun. They say maybe go for two hours and try to do half and half. So half on Facebook, half on Instagram. If you're, you're really uh, comfortable with that, that's a good way to go about it. If not, just pick one social media platform and master it. Practice, practice, practice. When you do a live, the live uh, gets saved, but you can delete that video right away. On Instagram, it's a bit more complicated to save it. We teach that in class, but on Facebook, that video is gonna sit on your Facebook business page. You can edit it, you can delete it, you can download it. So choose what you're gonna be doing. And then, okay, so promote, and then we teach that in strategy as well. If you are going to be going live on Facebook at 10 a.m. on Saturday, then talk to people about it starting the Tuesday, not just on Facebook, talk about it on Instagram, on Twitter, all the other social media platforms that you're comfortable and already using, or maybe in a newsletter, and tell to the people, go to this link, and the link is your Facebook URL page and people when they go on your page at that time they will see they will see you live and be able to join the live broadcast and then I really like their little cheat sheet here because we teach that in class as well your phone must be charged I always bring one of those portable chargers with me house is empty presentable you look great ideally put do not disturb like airplane um, do not disturb mode and then, and then make sure you have good internet connection, ask for the Wi-Fi password. And then go, say hi to people, and off you go. And once it's, uh, it's ended, if the platform allows it, you can save it and then share it. You can also download the video from your Facebook business page. You can edit it with iMovie or an app that we love called InShot. And then you can decide to put it on YouTube or put it on your other social media channels. I went through this with you because I teach this and I had to read it twice to make sure I understood it all. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Go to katherineaird.ca. You can contact me there or you can reach me on Facebook or Instagram and I'll be super happy to explain that to you. You can also visit our web, my website, katherineaird.ca or go to keepitsimplesocialmedia.com. You will see the dates for future webinars where we teach you exactly how to do this. So big thumbs up to our buddies at Realty Ninja in Vancouver. Those guys are the bomb. They're ahead of the game. And if you don't have a Realty Ninja site right now, you should take the time, if you have a bit of extra time, to try to maybe upgrade because they are the future. Love you. Bye-bye.